Hi everyone, this is Redding Wijaya. This will be my second part of Shorter Spare video. If you haven't seen my previous video, please take a look at the description below and I will link the video there. And this video is now about the modification that I've made to this algorithm and the source code. Actually, it's very minor modification. First, I've made that road tracking is not active so that I can know the route between point A to point B. And second, the array is now dynamic array. Why? Because static array is maxed out at 2 gigabytes. Third, map size is now defaults to 50. Why? Because previously, when the map size is only like 10, it was a little too small when the number of vertices and the number of edges is high. Now 50, it should be enough. And I've had some safety measurements. So when the map size is still not enough, the program will accept. And last, this program is now 64-bit native. What does it mean? It means I can make a really, really big input data. The implementation of road tracking is very simple. It's just one line, as you can see on the screen. This line is positioned strategically within the source code. Therefore, the performance impact of this will be minimal. And then I also have another method called show road. It's a method to display the road on the screen. It's a separate method because when the input is pretty large, Output printing took quite a while to finish, as you can see later. The amount of data that I use for this test case is massive. The amount of vertices will be 1 million, and there are at least 3 million edges. Why do I say at least? Because the generative program generates between 2 to 5 million edges. So I guess at least 3 million is reasonably accurate. However, there are certain problems here. First, I have no idea how to verify the correctness of this algorithm. And second, there are no live input generation on this video. Why? Because live input generation took a long, long time. Last night, I tried to generate 10 million vertices and it took like, uh, I think, 8 hours. Yeah, it's basically the whole night just for generating the input. On the right side of the screen, you will see the input. We have 1 million vertices and we'll find the shadow step from vertex number 1 to vertex number 1 million. I can show you this total. 1 million and 2 lines. So in total this thing got 1 million vertices. And I'll show you here input.txt. This is the size of the input is about 35 megabytes. And I'll call project 3. We will then wait. Oh, done. We already have the output. 100,000. 300,000. 500,000. 700,000. 900,000. A million. Okay. Program finished processing and we'll find the answer okay input reading time is 4.859 seconds okay data is big and the result of the shortest path is 178,267 and the process time is 0 0.252 seconds just 252 milliseconds this thing is insanely fast as you can see, the speed of finding the shortest path within this data site with a size of 1 million vertices is done pretty quickly, even on my slowest AMD APU. However, I cannot do 10 million vertices because it's too much for my memory. I don't have enough RAM. If you have more powerful machine than I do, I think you can help me run this algorithm using your machine and with the data set of 10 million vertices. You can find the data set in my download description below, but it's quite big. I think around 80 to 90 megabytes in size, it's compressed. 
and after you uncompress it it will reach around 340 something megabytes maybe you can help me and keep me posted with the performance of this algorithm using that much data set thank you and have a good day